Right now at noon, you are looking live at a live picture from North Carolina A&T State as people wait for the arrival of President Joe Biden. It's a packed room there. Later this afternoon, he will be speaking about efforts to improve supply chain issues as we see inflation rising at the fastest rate in 40 years. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Bill Young, CBS 17's Capitol reporter. Michael Hyland joining us live right now in Greensboro with more on what we can expect to hear today. Michael. Yeah, when he comes here to North Carolina A&T, he'll be visiting the nation's largest historically black university, and he'll be touring some of the facilities here and highlighting some of the successes this region has had recently in drawing new manufacturing jobs here, like that new Toyota plant that was just announced at the end of last year. He's also going to be talking about the Bipartisan Innovation Act, which is aimed at increasing competitiveness and trying to deal with supply chain issues, notably with computer chips. That's an incredibly important because we just got a new report this week showing that the inflation rate is still rising in March was eight and a half percent compared to the previous March. There are a range of factors including uh, the pandemic, the impact on the supply chains and our effort and what we've tried to do from the beginning is take steps to address that, address the supply chains. This administration is not listening and understanding where the people are. This administration's policies have not changed in order to meet the needs of the American people. And we just heard a few minutes ago that the president is getting ready to leave D.C. and we will have live coverage from here throughout the day. Live in Greensboro, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.